Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Staker Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So we're going to start our mini routine. Are you ready? So we're going to take first just a couple of breaths. Again, you can do it sitting or lying down on the ground. Keep one hand on your lower tummy and the other one your upper tummy. Close your eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths, feeling the air coming in and out through your nose. Feel the movement of the tummy, the movement of the ribs expanding and contracting. Maybe your chest, you feel it is coming up and down. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Now we're going to start activating our throat, which is the contraction of the epiglottis for Ujjayi breath. So we take a couple of breaths, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth with the sensation of fog in a glass. Inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, and last one, inhale, and exhale. We're going to do the same sensation in our throat, which is the contraction of the epiglottis with the mouth closed. If you lose the sensation, come back to exhale through your mouth. When you're doing this contraction, you feel more the pressure here below your ribs, which is your diaphragm. Let's go. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Make it as longer as you can. Remember that this is called Ujjayi breath. We can use it during the class or just use our normal breathing, but try to keep inhaling and exhaling through your nose if it's possible. So let's start. Today we're going to do a lot of things in and then we're dog. So it's really important that we remember how to put our hands position. So our normal way is the index fingers is pointing forward. So what we are going to do is the index finger. Remember, check that the, the series of videos of coming mistakes in yoga. They will change completely your practice. So ready? Let's start. So move on to all fours. Shoulders above your hands, hips above your knees. Keep the same width, hips, knees, and feet. Index fingers pointing forward. Spread your fingers and use your fingertips by pressing the ground. So your fingers are not completely flat off the ground. Slightly kind of bent. Let's go on to cat and cow. So we go inhale. We tuck the pelvis in, curving the spine all the way until your neck. Exhale, move your hips forward, arching your back by lifting your chest and pushing your tailbone out. And again, inhale, tailbone going, curving the spine all the way until your neck. Move chin to chest. Exhale, move your pelvis forward, arching your back. Let's go for two more. Inhale, cat stretch. And exhale, cow stretch. Let's go the last one. Inhale, cat. And exhale, cow. Back onto neutral, crawl the toes under. We move on to downward dog. Press with your fingertips, not only with your wrist. You don't press, you don't put on the pressure on your wrist, and you don't have pain on the wrist. So use you fingertips, really press with your fingertips, and we go, inhale, as you prepare, exhale, lift the right leg as far as you can go, inhale, down, exhale, left, and down, right, and down, left, and down, right, and down, left, and down, right, and down, and the left, and down, back onto all fours, back onto cat and cow. So we go cat, and let's go three, and let's go two, exhale, cow. Just one more, and exhale, 
Back onto neutral, call the toes under, back onto downward dog. This time we lift the right leg, open the knee onto the kind of wild thing, or just stretch here, you tummy and your thigh. Take four breaths, inhale, and exhale, don't force your body. Let's go for three, two, just one more. Exhale, drop your foot, other side, bend your leg, twist gently towards to the side, we hold for four, three, two, and just one more. Release. Drop your knees back onto the ground. Let's go again, cat and cow. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Let's go three. Press with your fingertips. Exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. And the last one. Exhale. Back onto neutral. Now we're gonna twist so we move the left arm under the right, hold the left shoulder on the ground, and if you feel comfy, slide the right hand forward. And here you need to press with the right hand to don't let the weight collapse on your head. And we're gonna hold here. Remember, you can close your eyes and feel the stretch. We hold for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go to exhale. Let's go just one more. And exhale. Release, bend your right arm, push your body up, and we're just gonna repeat other side. And we just hold here. Press with your left hand this time to the weight, won't collapse. On your head, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Two, and three, and just one more. Bend your left arm, push your body up, back onto all fours, index fingers pointing forward, curl the toes under, down dog. Inhale, lift the heels by curling your toes under, exhale, heels go down. Let's go for three, and down. Two, and down. Choose one more, and down. Drop your knees back onto the ground. We're sitting back on child pose. Move our palms together. Bend your elbows. Move your hands just behind your head. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Go for two. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Release everybody, move back onto all fours. And from all fours, we're going to sit down on the side, whatever side is more better for you. Now, I'm just going to turn around so you can see my feet position. Okay, so literally one foot is on the top of the other one, but you can also move them a little bit away, okay? So it doesn't really matter as far as it feels comfy for you. Your knees open, you are comfy sitting here, we're gonna go onto the mermaid. So we're gonna reach towards to the sides are your feet. And if you need to use your hands, you use your hands. If not, you just swing the right arm over your head and we just reach here and we hold for four breaths. You can look towards the ceiling if you feel comfy. Let's go for three. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Two, 
and it's warm. Oh, it feels really good on the back and lower back. Swing the legs to the other side and the same. Make sure that your feet are comfy and we can use our hands if we need them or we can swing the other one and we just go all the way, pal facing down. We hold for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And we release. We move our legs to the front. We're going to squeeze the legs as much as we can. And we're going to drop the head. If you cannot hold your legs that you feel that you don't have a stability, you can use your hands at the back and push yourself forward. We hold here just four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Raise your head, raise your face. We extend our legs to the front onto the andasana. Lift your arms up, reaching, 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 reaching up. And we hold here for four. Inhale and get your tummy. You can bend your legs as well if you need it. Okay, let's go for three, two, and just one more. Great, everybody. Drop your arms, roll your shoulders backwards. We're going to cross the legs. So you can put the left leg or the right leg at the front. Doesn't matter, but make sure that you do both sides. So let's put the left leg at the front first. We're going to lean forward as far as you can go without pain. Now, it's super important to hear your feet can be one at the front of the other one or all under your lower leg. It's up to you. When you go forward, you feel too much pressure on your knees. Hold the knees. If not, move your arms to the front. So are you ready? Inhale and exhale as far as we can go. We can place our hands, head on our hands, or one fist at the top of the other one to rest our head, or just with our elbows here. We hold here for four breaths. Ready? Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one. Slowly we raise our torso. Now here we're going to twist toes to the left knee. So the leg is at the front, the left knee. And we're going to lean toes to the knee. The chest will move towards to the knee. Doesn't matter if it's just tiny. You can always use your hands at the back to help you to push forward. Or you can go a little bit lower. So it's the pen of you, but make sure that both sit bones remain on the ground. Ready? Inhale and exhale. And we feel lovely stretch here again in our lower back. Let's go for four. Three. Two. And just one more. Raise your torso. Move your knees together. Squeeze your knees towards to your tummy. Let the head drop. Relax your shoulders. We hold for four. Three. Two. And just one more. Raise your torso, interlace your fingers, and try to extend your back. If it's hard for you, always use your hands at the back to help you to stretch your back. Don't let the knees go wider. Try to keep them the same width. Let's hold here. Three breaths. Inhale. Lift your chest. Exhale. Let's go for two. And just one more. Now cross your legs. This time is there. Right leg at the front, under the lower leg, or one foot in front of the other one. 
inhale to prepare as far as you can go. If you position is is like this, hold your knees and here. Don't worry. Give the time to your body. Just be patient and try to don't force to be flexible. Just as far as you feel good and safe in your joints. And then with the time and the practice, then we get results. So we hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Just go for three. Two. Just one. And slowly we raise our torso. So now we're going to twist towards to the knee and we are going to lean towards to the right knee. And we just hold here. It doesn't matter. You can go very little. It's fine. It still is very good for you. And we just go here for four. Three, keep both sit bones on the ground, two, and then one. Raise your torso, move your arms up, move your legs to the front, dandasana. Now here you can bend the knees just to help you to stretch more your back or you can keep them fully extended. We're going to inhale. And exhale forward bend and we're going to up and down for a couple of times. Make sure that you go down. But if you are too far from your legs, bend your knees and keep them bent. That will give you more release in your glutes, in your back and of course the legs. So let's go. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And again, inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. And we hold down. We can bend our knees. If we cannot go too low, we can bend the knees. We hold for four. Three. You can catch your ankles or your outer edge of your feet. Two. And just one more. Raise your torso, everybody. Good. Straight with your back. Bend your knees if you need to, to straight your back. We bend the right knee this time. We drop the right hand behind, chest up, and we twist toes to the right side. You can hug the leg, but we just keep it here. We hold for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. I'll give your back a straight, help it with the back leg. You can always bend the knee if you need to. Let's go. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. And just one more. And we release. We swap the leg. And the same. We squeeze and we twist. Let's hold for four. Three, two, and last one. Well done, everybody. Relax, roll your shoulders. So if you have time, you just go to the description and click in the chapter to bring you back when the routine starts again, just to keep flowing. Or go do it in your screen as well. To just touch and the chapter to start from the beginning. If this is your time to go, so we're just gonna move again our hands back onto prayer position. Inhale, move your arms up. Exhale to your mouth and arms to go down. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale, hands back, prayer position, and we say Namaste. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully you like the class. See you in the next one. And let me know in the comments just below, how many times do you repeat the sequence? So see you again.